and I crank the handle on the hatch, which is at the base of the of the airlock, looking toward Earth, actually. And I pull that up, and then I push it back against the wall, and it locks into place. There's a little catch that locks. And I, now I'm looking at total, the darkest dark I'd ever seen, right? You, you can say your shirt's black, Elijah, right? But it's not that. It's It's more than that. It's the total absence of light. And as I look out there, and it's about a three-foot hole, and as I look through there, icicles are shooting from the back left of my spacesuit into that vacuum of space and blackness and disappear. And it's the coolest thing. It's like snowflakes just going out and then disappearing. And all that ice is coming off of my sublimator, which is my air conditioning. So my suit's trying to allow me to keep warm and cold at the same time, keep the right temperature. So heat is uh, being released and water's being frozen and, and it's going out in these icicles. And I'm holding on to the hatch with just one my right hand. And I've used about three fingers, my thumb and my index and my middle finger. And all I could do floating there, all I could think of was I was born to be here right now doing this. And that's a true statement, and it it was just amazing to me. I thought of nothing else. I didn't think about Fyodor. I didn't think about my wife and kids. All I thought about was I was supposed to be there doing that. And that and it's it's hard to even imagine like what it would be like to see the nothingness, you know, or <laughs> or to see Earth, or or and to feel kind of that that weight behind you. I mean, like even when you're outside of the ship and and you're flying around, you're working on stuff, you can feel against your back the the space you know what i mean i imagine that there's just like if you let go you could you could feel yourself floating back you know you could feel the the urge to just j- 